if you are not careful, the media will let you hate the ones that's doing the good work, the liberations, and love the exploiters. This is the media, one irresponsible media. They can let you feel empathy for criminals, violent puffs, and mass murderers. Because they control the mind of the masses. The media is only interested in three basic things. The attractive factor. The scandal factor. And the violent factor. The attractive factor is, for example, if you have some model on your ship or some celebrity then you have also the scandal factor if there are connected in some scandal and if there there's also a violent scandal man then you have a first place ticket on the newspapers man because that's what the media loves. The media loves scandals. The media loves celebrities. And their love the violence. They are not open on that they love violence. But it can make some money for them. Get some attention. It will trigger people's attention. And marketing people are fascinated. And I say fascinated by attractive people who are connected in a scandal. Which is also a violence. They love violence. Not openly. But if you look to the tactic and which are in the media. Yeah. Can you can see they love violence, they love attractiveness, and they love scandals. In 1984, I organized a campaign against uh, the killing of wolves in northern British Columbia in the Yukon. And we had them shooting wolves, which is violent. They had they were threatened to shoot us, which is violent. Uh, and we, they're allowed to shoot wolves? Why? They're culling them? What's yeah, the excuse? Yeah, for big game hunters want them down yeah. because they're... And they're just know. their excuses to cull them. They yeah. can't... And then we had scandal because the environment minister was caught taking a bribe from a big game hunting official. So to round this up to have all four elements, I, I asked uh, Bo Derek to be our spokesperson. And uh, that gave us the other two elements. Yeah. And at the press conference, uh, a reporter for the Vancouver Sun said, this is stupid, why do you have Bo Derek? She's no authority on wolves, why is she your spokesperson? I said, well, if I had the best uh, wolf biologist in the world, Dr. David Mech or Dr. Gordon Haber, nobody would be here, you wouldn't listen to us, but I see the room's full of journalists, it'll be the front page of your paper, tomorrow you're gonna write yeah. it, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. There's also the reason that a lot of, um, so, some YouTubers are going full in the scandal factor because the media love that. That's what the media also do. And if you look at uh, the, the um, YouTube channels, how talk about things the media talks about, they are get uh, exposure in this moment. So, this YouTube algorithm a little bit on this moment. So far, I see it. Also. Think about this. It is not so much important what me yet what truth if you ask the media. They want to know what is most popular. That's the reason they are going now on the anti vegan wagon. And the wagon of the um, Farmers are so sad because they get uh, exposed by vegans. I would say that farmers are a bunch of criminals. Not according to the law, but according to logic. Because they are profits from the misery of innocent living beings. It's akin to the um, slave masters in the 19th century. I'm saying that 
the slave liberationists don't take a note on the position of the slave masses, like, you know, the governor of the south, Hammond, actually also say in some of his letters. The abolitionist reasoning in the abstract, if it were um, moral or metaphysical speculation or a minor question in politics. Professors Toby surprise said at our expression. In their ignorance and recklessness there seems to be unable to comprehend our feelings or position and surprise I just said of our rights by destroying our property. So, stop playing dumb, people. The media is the most powerful entity in the world because the media controls the mind of the masses, sadly enough. Media is also a pretty narrow. Is dishonest and often corrupt. If they are also not careful, they are also corrupting themselves. Like Goebbels, the propaganda minister of Nazi Germany. I want to make Hitler seem so peaceful as Dandy and spread a lot of lies. To make Hitler's image better than it was in reality. For example, that Hitler was vegan or vegetarian. That Hitler was for animal rights something what is absolute a lie. The only love that he had for his dog, for example, was that the dog was strong and that's what something that he respected. He don't respect it, the weak. He called himself the Führer. The big daddy. Just like the Pope. Pope means also big daddy. He wants to be just like the Pope. I'd be sure of that. Spectacular if you look what Himmler or occult things of, uh, make, I try to make. Uh, his um, search for the holy. <laughs> Clones. You, you know, the holy uh, grail. That's what he wants. That's what he, search, what he also searches for. Where, uh, he also shows some temples um, in castles, so and so on and so forth. In Germany, if Hitler won, we have a new crazy delusional religion or national religion to it. Yes, it is true. Hitler despised most organized Christian religions but there is one particular one that he not this not this taste uh, tasteful and that was um, Luther's Christ and um, Christians a lot of Germans were Luther's Christians not, I, I say not that Luton Christians are criminals or and all Nazis, but maybe it was it because Luther was a um, German that he don't dislike him and uh, his teacher. You know the whole Ubermans uh, concept of him. Created. It does not matter, according to the media, if something is 
true. The media only cares if something is um, can be marketed. If something is popular, there are absolutes the opposites of my standards. I ask myself always the question: Is it safe? Is it popular? Come the own day that you have to take a position that is neither popular, is not political correct. But you can't you say that it is right? Yeah. If you can't you say that something is right? You are an honest person and you are being honest to yourself. Now, then you have to take that position. The media thinks in this way. Is something safe? Yes. Then I go to do it. Is political correct? Uh, have somebody uh, bring uh, already in a bad light by the media? Yeah. Then we go to roast them and put scandals on it. Yeah. Just like they do uh, with. Or try to do with uh, vegans like Joey Carpstrong, however criminal history. And uh, try to put uh, words in his mouth and turn his actions to what I've done in the past in what he can possibly do now. It is akin to how the media tries to demonize Malcolm X because of his drug history and his criminal history. As Malcolm X in that time of say, To have once be a criminal is no disgrace, but to remain a criminal, that's the disgrace. It does not matter what you have done. What truly matter is what you do okay. that means in other words that you don't have to be the person that you are today necessarily that you have been in the past in other words screw you media for blackmailing uh, people like Joey Carpstrong and other vegans when the farmers are actually the violent ones they harm the animals they're working in concentration camps they are the violent people and the people who are buying this product need not we just like the uh, Slave masters try to um, blackmail the abolitionists. The media is the most powerful entity in the world. And if you are not careful, they let you hate. The heroes of the time, heroes of the time, and love the criminals, the violent, legal criminals. I violate the rights of other beings. Just because they can have money out of it. If you look over the world. You see that anything is connected in one or another way. If you put the strings a little bit, you see that it connect is connected to something else. And not things stand apart from each other. Anything is connected. If we destroy uh, and pollute one bit of the world on the longer run it will also affect the health of other ecosystems we live not in different worlds it's 
and economic people have to stop saying that we that um, there are the first world, the second world, and the third world. Because that are all arbitrary propaganda, lies, and deceit. A better word for it are matrices, illusions, fake realities. We have only one world. And we have to be more careful with it.